Get it media. This video is about semiology and it's an introduction to media language. Semiology is the study of signs and all media texts are made up of signs which the audience then interpret. Media texts such as radio, posters or television, they talk in a certain language which we come to understand over time after watching a lot of media. It's like road signs, they become very clear to us because they speak a certain language which we've learned to understand over time. If we take this road sign, most people will recognize this sign as a 30 mile per hour speed limit. So all media is made up of these types of signs and it uses them to convey a message. So these media texts, films, radio or posters are encoded by the creators and then decoded by the audience. Let's take a look at film posters and we can see the signs at work. Film posters only have a few seconds to get the concepts of the film across to the audience and try to entice them to watch it. In the case of the Ghostbusters poster, we can see it's actually very similar to the road sign with a cartoon style ghost inside. We quickly recognize this symbol and decode this to mean no ghost or ghost extermination. If we go slightly deeper, the cartoon ghost may give an indication that there's an element of comedy within the film. Giving us the star names on the poster also gives us some idea of the movie's genre. And if the audience likes those stars in other films, then they may want to watch this one. A star's image is often used in posters, and we can see it on these four posters. Again, these stars give the audience an indication of the quality of the film or the genre. Iconic images are often used. Captain America's uniform, and particularly his shield, or Superman and Batman's costumes, are all very iconic, and quickly give an audience that have seen these images before a recognisable sign that anchors the images and informs the viewer instantly as to what the film's about. The colours are also indicative of the genre. The blues are often associated with science fiction, or superhero films and the red rose indicates passion and romance, another classic icon. The monster movie Cloverfield has another iconic image of New York, the Statue of Liberty. The fact that it's been decapitated is a clear indication of the size and scale of the monster and this movie will follow the generic conventions of a disaster movie. The Inception poster gives a disorientating feel which suggests the plot may have many layers. Then the guns that some of the characters are holding also suggest that there will be an element of action within the film. So each of these posters quickly anchors the viewer's mind as to what might be involved in the film using iconic images and media language or signs that we as an audience decode. When deconstructing a text we use a process which looks at denotation and connotation or signifier and signified, which basically mean the same thing. Denotation is the simplest, it's exactly what you see. If we go back to our road sign for simplicity's sake, we can see that the road sign is made up of the number 30 surrounded by a red circle on a white background. The connotation is the meaning behind the denotation. In the case of this road sign, it means that you must go below 30 miles per hour in this patch of road. Some texts have several meanings. In other words, they're polysemic. You could argue that all texts are polysemic because any media text is open to interpretation. If you have a look at reception theory, you can find out more about that. So if we take the colour red, for example, in Western cultures it's often used as a warning and apparently in China it's a lucky colour associated with prosperity. The polysemic nature of signs means that communication can fail. In the case of this McDonald's advert, the creators were obviously unaware that the term I'd hit that has sexual connotations. Unless they were suggesting that this guy wants to have sex with this burger, which I don't think they were going for. Other examples include Erectus the energy drink, a beer called Vagina, toilet paper called Shit Be Gone, and I'll let you read this one for yourself. However, some advertisers are very clever with the idea of polysemic readings, such as this old car advert with its double meaning, it grabs the audience's attention and uses the classic sex sells tactics. So that's a basic introduction to semiology. In the next video we'll be looking at how the media can manipulate media language to give different meanings.